Could you ditch your toothpaste for tea? This is actually really cool. The tea plant, Camellia senescens, is really good at accumulating fluoride from the soil. When you brew tea leaves, that fluoride comes back out into your beverage. One study found 2.5 milligrams per liter of fluoride in brewed black tea, which is three and a half times the amount recommended to be added to drinking water. Green tea had slightly less fluoride at an average of 1.2 milligrams per liter, which is confusing because they come from the same plant, but they thought it might be because green tea is made with relatively new tea leaves. So I let one egg soak in tea overnight, the other egg soaked in water, and you can see that when I put them into vinegar, the fluoride and potentially other things in the tea change the surface composition of the eggshell. That's pretty cool. Some cases have been reported of patients suffering from fluoride-related health problems from excessive tea drinking. These are things like skeletal fluorosis and GI problems. But these people were drinking a lot of tea. One patient was drinking up to 16 cups of black tea a day, and the other was drinking between 30 and 40 cups of iced tea a day. That is a lot of tea. So drink a few cups a day with no worries, but keep brushing your teeth.